everybody, welcome back to another Craft Break Live. My name's Emma Panewski, I'm a content creator here at Plaid. Today, a very special edition of Craft Break, we're talking about a brand new line of folk art paints, folk art watercolor gels. It is a really beautiful watercolor-like transparent acrylic paint. It's non-toxic, water-based, made right here in the USA. It has a really beautiful color line in the line of colors. Um, so I'm going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about some of my favorite features of the paint. I'm going to do a little bit of demoing and show you some different techniques that we like to use with our new Folk Art Watercolor Gels. Um, so stay tuned. It's going to be a really fun one. Steven is in the studio with us, so if you have any questions throughout our live stream, make sure to comment them down below. Steven's going to be um, reading all your questions and answering them and relaying some of your comments over to me. Yeah, absolutely. How are you doing, Em? Good. How are you, Steven? I'm good. I'm excited to talk about watercolor gels. Me too. I love uh, the like sort of subtleness that this yes, paint provides. You absolutely. know, absolutely. There's my favorite thing about watercolor gels is that you can get a whole, uh, a really vast range of different techniques that the paint is really great for. Um, you can, like Steven said, apply a really transparent, subtle look. You can colorize photos. Um, it's really great to use in mixed media pieces. Um, it, it has a really beautiful watercolor-like effect, like its name. You can create some really beautiful watercolor-inspired pieces of art. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So we're going to show you a couple of those today. Um, but before we do that, I just want to show you guys some of the projects that we made with the watercolor gels paint. So right here, we have this super cute mixed media collage piece. So what we did is we used some Mod Podge matte to adhere some uh, newsprint to our um, little stretched canvas here. And then once our Mod Podge was dry, we used a thin black permanent marker to create some doodles. And then we went ahead and we filled in some beautiful vibrant colors with the watercolor gels. So it's really cool. You get so many different types of techniques um, just in this one really beautiful artsy looking piece of work. Okay, so that is one of my favorite techniques. Um, we also, you can see here, we made this really cute little beachy sign. It says on beach time. Really similar thing Maybe we did with that Maybe bring it one. in a little oh, bit. Yeah. A really similar thing we did with that one. We took a black and white photo and then we actually used the watercolor gels to colorize our black and white photo really give it some personality, and then we Mod Podged um, some kind of scrapbook letters on top and watercolor gelled those too. So one thing I do want to mention, this paint is indoor and outdoor safe, which is really great, and it works best on porous surfaces. So those are things like canvas, um, paper, fabric, um, raw wood, I think you can see behind me, we have this really, can you see that, Stephen? I'll bring it in. Yeah. We have this really beautiful ombre um, wood vase that um, we got our wood damp. We just sprayed it a little bit with just regular tap water. And then we applied our watercolor gel to create this really beautiful ombre design. Uh, I think my favorite project that we've done is the photo of the like vintage car over there that we've colorized. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, if you want to get inspired more with our watercolor gels paints, make sure to go to platonline.com. We have a lot of great projects for you to um, just kind of swipe through and get some inspiration. Um, watercolor gels is a brand new line of paint like we talked about in the beginning. So if you go to platonline.com, you type in gels, you'll be able to see all of the paints. Once you click on those paints, it'll give you project ideas and you can see all of the cool projects that we've made. And that's, uh, it's probably worth mentioning, that's gels with a Z. Gels with a Z, <laughs> So yes. it'll help you that find it a little bit more. Do you want to go overhead so we can show the bottle a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So we can show people what to look for in the stores? Yes, so this is what our product looks like. It's a great little two ounce bottle, easy flip top lid so you can get, you know, the precise amount of paint that you want. The label looks like this. This is in our Meyer lemon color, a really bright, vibrant yellow. I think my favorite is the periwinkle. The periwinkle? I'll show you Steven's favorite. I like this one too. It's a really pretty, soft, dusty purple. Okay, 
So now that we've talked about some of the things that you can do with watercolor gels, now I'll show you some of the things you can do with watercolor gels. So I went ahead and made this little um, step out. This is just a little stretched canvas and I created some floral doodles on it with just a black permanent marker. And now I'm gonna fill in my doodles with some of our watercolor gels. So the cool thing about this paint is that um, you can, it's really fun to play around with and see in action how it works. It's really similar to watercolors. Um, you can apply some of the gels onto your palette and then depending on how much water you add to the paint, that's the thinness and the transparency that you're gonna achieve on your finished project. So I'll kind of show you that in action. So I'm dipping my small flat brush into my clean tap water and I'm mixing some of that water into my paint. And I believe this is our cotton candy color, this really pretty light pink. Okay, so taking my watered down gel, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in to my doodle. So I applied quite a bit of water to the paint. So we're gonna get a pretty transparent look. But the great thing about this paint is that it's really easy to layer. It's really easy to build upon um, the different layers of paint that you apply to your project. So you'll see once you keep building those layers of paint, you'll, you'll be able to play around with the transparency or the opacity that you want to achieve in your finished project. So something that I like to do with this paint is I like to apply my water to my paint, apply it to my project, let that dry a little bit, and then I'll take just the regular paint that's not watered down at all. So we get that really kind of opaque and transparent look. And then I'll kind of blend the more opaque paint into this more subtle transparent paint. So that last, um what is the word I'm looking for? That last um, pass you did at it had no water. It was just the paint. Correct. And, you know, we didn't get the, you know, um, the totally desired effect that, I'm, the effect that I'm looking for. And that's just because we need to wait for it to dry a little bit. Okay. Now I'm taking some of our Meyer lemon. A little bit of water in that. fill in some of the centers of our flowers. <clears throat> and if you guys have done watercoloring before, let us know how you like it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, some uh, watercolor artists that we work with here have tested these paints and they really like them. So. We'd love to hear what you think once you pick up some watercolor gels for yourself. Okay, I believe this is the color pink berry. I've applied some water to it and I'm just creating broad strokes, um, starting at the center of my flower and painting outwards so that we get um, the most opaque parts in the center so it looks like it's more realistic. I'll go in with your favorite color, Stephen. I appreciate that. Periwinkle. For our middle flower here, starting in the center, pulling out. I'm going to go in with our green color here. This is Mermaid Tail. Very aptly named. Really pretty. Tanya had a question. Are there sets available? Um, like, you know, or is it just open stock? Um, there's open stock available on platonline.com. So have you, I think, did you list that? Yeah, it's in, the, it's in the description okay, of the video. Um, 
whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, if you check out the description, you should be able to find the link to our website and you could buy uh, open stock, any colors that you're looking for. Okay, so I'll show you guys a little bit of blending. So I'm gonna take this light blue color, add some water to it. And on the other half, of these leaves. I'm going to apply the blue. Okay, and now I'm going to offload that blue onto a paper towel. I'm going to apply some water onto my brush and then just so subtly blend those colors together, that blue and that green. And the great thing about this paint, it's really similar to watercolor in that it only takes a little bit of water to blend two colors together really smoothly. Okay, now let's go in and paint our vase. So just so you guys know, I'm applying a little bit of water to my palette every time I use a color. Emma, what would you say about um, using a hair dryer on your watercolor gels projects? Um, absolutely. That will work great. I have done that before, and if you're trying to really build upon the um, different layers of you know transparency or opacity that you're trying to achieve in your project um, a hair dryer is definitely going to help you out with that so that you can go ahead dry the first layer um, so that you can keep painting and build on the opacity that you want gotcha I was um, I asked because I thought that maybe there'd be some concern about using a hair dryer that is such a uh, water liquidy heavy paint oh, yeah. you know that's a good point Steven so what Steven's talking about is um, actually moving the right the wet paint and moving mm -hmm. the water around on your canvas so if you've ever used watercolors before um, you'll probably be aware of that potential issue um, you just have to you know be careful with it do it slowly um, use your best judgment when you're using a blow dryer yeah maybe if your blow dryer has different settings uh, use it on the lowest one um, there's a comment here I wanted to share from Dora. Cool new ideas are brewing in my mind. Thanks. I look forward to getting some of your watercolor gels and giving it a try. I love the top right pink daisy. Awesome. Yeah, so if you're just tuning in now, you guys, we're talking about our brand new folk art watercolor gels. Um, they're similar to um, traditional watercolors. They come in a two ounce bottle. They're non-toxic, water-based. Um, indoor outdoor and there's a ton of different techniques that you can use with these watercolor gels so you guys I just want to hit it again um, uh, if you want to purchase some folk art watercolor gels for yourself you can find them on platonline.com as well as some projects that we have made in the studio using our brand new folk art watercolor gels um, if you decide to purchase them and then post your creations on social media, make sure to hashtag plaid crafts. We'd love to see what you guys are making with our products. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and we will catch you next time. Bye guys.